In case you need a reminder, lifelong Godzilla, Kong, and Kaiju fan here. How do you think I felt about this? I had a blast. In all honesty, I was a bit nervous with Adam Wingard returning. He seemingly has much more interest in Kong, and his penchant for poor humor and dumb human storylines made Godzilla vs. Kong suffer in that regard more than it needed to. However, he also did some pretty amazing new things with the monsters, has gorgeous visuals, and gave us some of the best monster matchups ever. For the most part, all of that remains here, for better or worse. Wingard gets the monsters. He understands the verse's appeal, and he nails it. Honestly, I'm beginning to wonder if we need these human stories at all in some of these films. I know there probably needs to be some kind of anchor, but less may be more in the monster verse. There is a small pacing issue in the first act, and all the human setup, but then it never lets up. Kids are gonna love this, so will lifelong kaiju fans like myself, and I could not stop smiling so many points. Let me also just say that I appreciate that this movie plays it all straight and very earnest. It knows what it is, but it never winks too much at the audience or plays the self-awareness too cheeky. It embraces what makes the universe ridiculous and unique in the best of ways, all the while delivering solid lore, world building, and the best monster action you can ask for. This film may contain the single highest number of kaiju brawls ever in a monster flick, and they look incredible. Never once did I think the CG was awful, it's incredibly realized, vibrant, beautiful, and epic. My only nitpick is that because we spend so much more time with the monsters, occasionally when, with how it's all framed, they don't feel as large and huge and all as they should all the time. None of the fights also feel as grand and weighty as they do in Godzilla vs. Kong, otherwise known as GVK. The buildup isn't quite as strong, nor is there any kind of real emotional payoff, but that's okay. While the fights aren't as iconically staged, they are still incredible. But I'd be lying if I didn't say something grand in that finale seems to be missing just a bit. That's not to say what we got isn't highly enjoyable. The human story is fine. They continue the best part of GVK from that storyline with the Ewe girl and her greater story and connection to Kong. Although the latter part is downplayed more than I expected. It's really Brian Tyree Henry who admirably does what is asked of him that really hurts the story. His over the top incessant one liners are rarely funny save one or two instances, and other characters that carry over are decent to serviceable, such as Trapper, a kaiju veterinarian, great idea, who is fantastic when he speaks about kaiju, but cringy when he jokes. Really, the humor just doesn't work, mostly, and that's my biggest pet peeve. It's just not funny. That whole MCU style, everybody's gotta be quippy, that fad has got to die out. I'm very tired of it. But what's admirable about the story is that it flips the script on Godzilla movies usually. Typically, there are monsters used to serve the human characters and story within these films. Here, the humans serve the monster characters and story. Seriously, Wingard's biggest win is making the main kaiju feel like actual beings with motivations and sympathies to root for. The story itself is fairly predictable, but I appreciate them having some small additions to Monarch, but it taking a backseat to exploring the Hollow Earth a bit more, because that's what I wanted from GVK. So I was pleasantly surprised at some of the ideas here, even if they are big glossed over or predictable. From here though, the Hollow Earth needs to rest and they probably need to look to space aliens for the next villains. I can only buy that there are so many underground realms and such in the Hollow Earth. There was the entrance to Hollow Earth, the Hollow Earth, the subterranean realm in the Hollow Earth, and that whatever's in the Monsterverse show that's in between the Hollow Earth, the Hollow Earth. And also in Hollow Earth, there's another hidden Earth with humans. It's a lot. Kong himself is absolutely fantastic. There's long stretches with no dialogue, completely reliant on visual storytelling and dynamic camera work that allow the kaiju room to really breathe and shine and eventually blossom on their own. All the surprises are ruined by the marketing, but to say they aren't welcome would be a lie. Part of me wishes Godzilla was in the film a bit more, but anytime he's around, he's supremely effective. Adam Wingard is aware that Kong is more sympathetic and that Godzilla is more of a blunt tool, but how he ties them together is incredible. Although, Godzilla's power up from the trailers isn't used all that much and that's a bit disappointing, even though it looks pretty cool. But boy, does he just go straight business on some other kaiju. Long live the king of the monsters. Speaking of, the Scar King and some other additions are neat original monsters, but a bit on the bland side as far as what they actually do and accomplish and really their power set. Still, I appreciate trying their hand in new monsters when most people just want Godzilla fan service and there needs to be a balance. We got Mega Godzilla last time, this time original, and maybe next time we'll get Gigan or Megalon or someone like that. That would be really cool. Tom Hulkenborg's score is pretty dope with the synth and small reprises of all themes, 
but I missed using the classic themes a lot more and really wish Barry McCreary would come back. I think overall, because the human story is streamlined, even the bad humor is lessened, and the quantity of monster is still done with quality, it's mostly a step in the right direction and improvement over GVK, even if that one's a little bit more iconic. This is probably my second favorite in the MonsterVerse. I may eat those words later, but honestly, I'll watch five more of these. Keep them coming. I give Godzilla and Kong The New Empire four out of five stars. What more can you ask for than giant monsters fighting with beautiful modern effects? Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the movie. Make a decision for yourself, and while you do, remember, always look for the good.